Good morning. Welcome to the Mean Stock MBA. Uh, do you know what I mean? Uh, so, me and Helen, we have a. I'm Helen. I'm Stephen. I'm not Helen. I'm Stephen. <laughs> this is Helen, and um, we're going to talk about the Mean Stack, which is a really cool set of technologies that work together pretty nicely. Um, it's all written in JavaScript. Uh, mean is acronym for MongoDB, Express, Node.js, and Helen. What am I missing? Angular. Angular. Yes, <laughs> but not necessarily in that order. Um, what we'll be doing is we'll be creating a Twitter clone application called Chirp. And what we can do is we can create tweets, or not tweets, but cheeps, excuse me. And um, we'll be creating this application from the front to the back, um, building off of our previous uh, Microsoft Virtual Academy videos on AngularJS, uh, ExpressJS, as well as MongoDB. And this kind of ties everything together into one cohesive application that you can use as a framework of your understanding of the mean stack and go off and make your own mean stack applications so that you can divide and conquer. Yeah, so let's go over what we're going to talk about today. We're going to start with in this module talking about the mean stack, going over each specific component, what it's going to do in our application, and we're actually going to show you our demo application as well and walk you around that. Uh, in the next module, I'm going to go over AngularJS, some basic concepts in Angular, and start creating our app locally. And then Steven's going to build out the back end using Node and Express. Um, he's going to build out the APIs that we're going to hit using our Angular app eventually. And then in the fourth module, he's going to integrate MongoDB for our data source. Then module five, you'll come back to me. I'm going to tie everything together, go and, you know, actually call the APIs that Steven's created and show that application working live. And then we're going to deploy all of this to Azure and show you some more resources in the MeanStack community, some other generators or things that you can use, testing frameworks, and conclude from there. Hold so, on. Uh, what can they... Oh, okay. Great. I was going to ask what can our users expect to know um, <laughs> beforehand, but I uh, Helen beat me to it. Uh, so what... What can our users expect to have to know um, in order to you know, be very productive in this Microsoft Virtual Academy? So because everything we're going to do is JavaScript, uh, we expect you to have a pretty good grasp of JavaScript, as well as some basic web development concepts, uh, such as you know, what an MVC framework is going to be. We're going to still go over quite a few of these things, but it'll help if you have that good foundation. So again, it'll be great if you have a strong grasp of JavaScript. If you're familiar with HTML, CSS, and with uh, Bootstrap, or Twitter Bootstrap, rather, uh, which is just a great library for making a beautiful front end. And if you want to look at other resources that might help, there's an introduction to AngularJS MVA. There is the very awesome You've Got Documents MongoDB Jumpstart that Steven was actually a part of. Wasn't and there's. <laughs> And it's not listed here, but there's actually a Node.js MBA as well. Stacey Mulcahy and Rami did that one. Okay. Do you want to call them out? Yeah, Stacey Mulcahy and Rami did that one. Stacey also worked on the Angular MBA along with Christopher. So, <laughs> Christopher's waving from the back for those of you who can't see. So, let's really get into it. What is the mean stack? Let's actually show a demo of our mean stack application. And I'm going to apologize in advance because this is not the exact version that we're going to show in the end, but it's pretty darn close. So as you can see, there's an application we've built here called Chirp. Uh, we've lightly styled it using Twitter Bootstrap with a very typical navigation header you might have seen. We're going to implement a login and registration system and people will be able to post into the stream. We've disabled the guest posting for now because, let's be honest, we don't know what all you are going to say. Um, but you'll see us posting into the stream later on. And by the end, once you actually authenticate, you'll be able to post into the stream as well. I think our users should be able to um, register already, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, you're revealing our secrets. I think it's actually not working right now because I tried right before this. Oh, and it didn't work? Yeah, okay, sorry. That's cool. Sorry to reveal it's some probably of that. Better. It's probably better magic. anyways. Yeah, yeah <laughs> honestly, you have a chat, okay? Go to the MBA Q&A chat if you want to say anything to us. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah. Let's talk about why we're actually going to use the meme stack. 
Well, as we said before, the mean stack is all built using JavaScript. Uh, as a lot of people say, it's really one language to rule them all. Because you can build your server in JavaScript. You can, of course, uh, build out your front end in JavaScript. And Angular even pr provides a nice framework for you to build out that nice MVC in the front end as well. Everything that we're going to use is completely open source. While they might be supported by larger corporations, such as uh, MongoDB or uh, Joyent or Google, everything that they're making is open source, and you can go through and access all of that. Node.js also has a huge module library if you want to go and take components that you might need. For example, for authentication, we're actually going to use a module that other people have built on top of that. And it's really easy to get started quickly with the mean stack. Because as you can see, we're going to build out a complete application in just a few hours. Because since the front end and the back end is all using one language, it's extremely cohesive. Everything we're using is extremely lightweight. Um, and it's not too much of a burden to run. That's probably why it's pretty popular with uh, um, web developers, right? I'm, I'm imagining because the whole thing's written in JavaScript. So if you're just familiar with uh, really good with JavaScript on the front end, you can make your way back through the back end and even through the database because even the database is really JavaScript-like. Um, so really, it's actually quite friendly for um, if you're just really familiar with front end development and you kind of want to get into the back end a bit. Yeah, absolutely. I was actually primarily a front-end developer, but you know, the means that came along, Node.js especially, was so helpful because I said, uh, you know, this I don't want to necessarily build something monolithic with Apache or anything huge, but hey, if I can start up a server in 10 lines or less, it must not be that intimidating. It ain't that bad. Yeah, so, so now <laughs> I can kind of call myself a full-stack JavaScript developer, and it's pretty great. <laughs> 